So I have something absolutely incredible to show you, and it really combines two of the favorite things I love to talk about. One, people getting revenge on Donald Trump for all the terrible things he's done to them, and two, Donald Trump facing consequences, facing accountability for his awful actions. And this really centers in on his former lawyer, his former fixer, the guy who knew where everything was buried, where all the skeletons and all the closets were, Michael Cohen. Because Michael Cohen just got to get a little bit of juicy revenge on Donald Trump in two critical ways. First, he got to go on TV last night and make it clear that Trump's cronies are all going to go to prison unless they flip on Donald. And he was able able to make a direct case to those cronies to sell out their former boss. And more importantly, and we'll get to this after, Michael Cohen was a surprise witness in a recent Donald Trump trial. And when he went there, he proved that Donald Trump lied under oath, putting Donald Trump in even more trouble than we originally thought. Talking about what they witnessed, firsthand knowledge, that's the only way that they're going to end up holding Donald Trump accountable for this. What do you think of the potential Trump defense, which we may hear about during these hearings as they start next week, that they tried everything, but when they got near a line, he backed off. He didn't, as he said, he didn't really go to the military. They tried Pence. He said no. And it, it sort of ended there. What about that defense? Nonsense. It's just it, it's not le- it's not real. It's not legitimate. It's a lie, which is something that Donald is so good at doing. He just blatantly lies right to your face. And he'll say the same lie over and over mm. and over again. For what purpose? Because ultimately the lie becomes the truth. And that's what he wants. Now, Peter Navarro is making a terrible mistake here. He will end up in prison. I mean, he's foolish. And yes, he's right. One quarter of his life could now be spent in prison. And rest assured, Peter, if you're watching this show, and I hope he is, you don't want to go there. Even where I was at at Otisville, it's terrible. It's terrible. You're removed from your family. You're removed from your friends. They destroy your name, your reputation. All for who? All for what? For Donald Trump? for democracy to to be democracy in peril seriously what are you thinking what do you what legacy do you want to leave to your children grandchildren and god willing great grandchildren yeah. not the legacy that you're leaving now which he looks like a fool oh my god they went ahead they picked me up at the airport it's unconstitutional. First of all, Peter Navarro is not a lawyer. I don't think he understands what he's saying. I think he's a PhD in economics. He should stick with what he knows because what he's saying right now really makes him look stupid. So that. So that's really good. And look, Michael Cohen, he's done bad things, but he's served his time and he's making an effort to, you know, have to serve society in a better way going forward in the rest of his life. But you know that he enjoyed that a little bit. Seeing all of these other Trump doofuses go down, seeing them make the same mistakes he did, but don't have nearly the moral character to acknowledge it or do better going forward and making it very, very, very clear that Donald Trump doesn't give a single damn about anyone in the world not even his own wife his own kids his own family let alone people that work for him and so he got to say to trump to everyone watching donald trump's gonna sell you out if you don't want to die in prison you got to get rid of Trump. And so that was a bit of a cathartic moment for Michael Cohen. But then it gets to the fact that in a recent deposition, he was called as a secret last minute witness. And that shocked Donald Trump. It terrified Donald Trump because in this case, Donald Trump has tried to distance himself from the events. But in so doing, he got caught lying because Michael Cohen was in the room with Trump proving he was part of the scheme all along. And it says here, according to a Daily Beast review of court transcripts in a lawsuit a protester has brought against Donald Trump, his former attorney, Michael Cohen, explained in detail a conversation he heard between the former president and his head of security that contradicts what Trump previously testified under oath. That in turn could lead to Donald Trump facing charges of perjury. According to the Beast, it says that Cohen was a last minute witness brought against Trump where he is accused of sicking his security team on protesters 
outside of Trump Tower before he became president. In a previous deposition, Donald Trump has denied involvement. However, as the new report states, Cohen gave testimony again under oath that he was in the room when protesters was discussed and under questioning stated Trump asked security head Keith Schiller, did you see that there's a demonstration going on? Get rid of them. To which Schiller reportedly replied, okay, boss. That means Donald Trump committed perjury. Who knows if they're actually going to charge him? We know that as we've seen, Donald Trump seems to get away with things, but he is in trouble now because that is textbook perjury, textbook lying under oath, and not just on a little technicality, like Donald Trump said he wore a red tie that day and he actually wore a blue tie. It's perjury technically, but you know, it doesn't really affect the case. Central to this case, because they're suing Trump and his business and all of that, is that it wasn't just an isolated decision by a security guard or a security team or even the head of security, but that it went right to the top and Donald Trump requested it. So Cohen got some revenge in two ways, encouraging other people to betray Trump and pointing out his criminality in court.